spoilers. The Last of Us episode five, probably the best episode uh, so far. But I feel like uh, I've been signing up pretty much every week with every new episode. Um, so for all those complaining about the action they lost in episode three, as I've been saying, it wasn't completely necessary that the bloater bit happened there. That could have easily been placed anywhere. So you got an extension of the old Frank's characters and we pretty much had what was the perfect storm in this episode with, uh, the surprise of the, you know, the infected horde and the bloater emerging, um, with, uh, of course, Kathleen and her, uh, you know, resistance, you know, uh, you know, group being hot on the heels of, uh, Sam and Henry and then, you know, thus, uh, Joel and Ellie. And so I thought that made a mu- that made much more sense for the, uh, the pacing and just the crescendo of, you know, those storylines converging. Um, so I think it actually works better than just the random placement of it for gameplay sake in the, in the game version. Um, so for me, I think it works, but I, I think we know the real, real reason people had a, a problem with uh, episode three, <laughs> but we don't need to talk about that again. Uh, this was a terrific episode. Um, you're seeing Ellie connect with uh, Sam in the way she did. Um, you know, she has already been through stuff that has yet to be revealed in the show, but to see her maybe have that, you know, childlike innocence and hope again, you know, just gone like that after a night, <laughs> essentially, um, probably Bella Ramsey's best episode so far from a performance standpoint. She was terrific in this, as was Joel. Pedro Pascal fully embodies the character. You can't say he doesn't now. Again, there has to be some other reason if you do. Um, just to, the way he talks to Henry as well. Um, and, and just the foreshadowing and the seeds planted, if you know the rest of the uh, story, you know, with, uh, you know, the lengths Henry went to to try and, you know, uh, you know protect his brother. I don't know how that's, you know, kind of essentially, without spoilers, mirrors, uh, you know, Joel and Ellie's direction in the long run, which I think you could assume without me spoiling anything directly. Um, it's really just written and tied together nicely. And then, of course, I'm finding that, you know, bunker with the, uh, you know, the classroom and stuff like that. Just, oh, it's kind of cute. But then there's like that eeriness and just that s- sadness that goes with it. I thought it was really nicely handled. And, of course, how it ends, you know, with, uh, you know, Sam being revealed to have been bitten. And just that loss, again, just just like that so fast, so devastating. Uh, it emotionally affected my wife. It did uh, move me as well. So again, I think they're doing an amazing job with this yet again. So, uh, yeah. Nolly Linsky, too, her death was needed. Kathleen's death was needed. Um, she was the one bit of casting I had questioned in the show, but all that body shaming is complete horseshit. Um, 